click to continue. Okay, so let's take a look here. Malice in Wonderland. Now, so far, also do really good. Liking the little stories that they have and the little puns that they work into them, like Tome Alone. Perfect working on Home Alone. Like, you know it's going to be something about Tome. Hello, and welcome to the first episode of Random Game Reviews. Today, we're going to be looking at The Dark Side Detective. Just tell you a little bit about what this channel is going to be about is I, I get a lot of these random games from Humble Bundle or Factional or any of those random bundle sites that you can find online for either you know, PC or I just pick up random indie games, random games for the Switch. So what I'm going to do, um, so that way I'm not wasting any money here, is to go ahead and play some of these random games for a couple of hours and then give you my opinion at the end of it um, a little bit. We'll try to keep these videos around 30 to 40 minutes long. Um, it'll be a little bit of a let's play and a little bit of a review. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in to the Dark Side Detective. summary. The chief has sent me to the Jones residence. Dooley is there with further details. Click to continue. Okay, so let's take a look here. Malice in Wonderland. Now, so far... Also, Dooley. Whoa, I almost shot you there, detective. You shouldn't be sneaking around like that. Dooley, you watch me drive up. I had my siren on. You waved at me as I pulled in. I guess this place has spooked me a little. Alrighty. So what happened here, Chief? Scully just called me up and told me to get here ASAP. No details. Seven-year-old kid, Alice. Went missing a day ago, no sign of her leaving the house. Seems to be a kind of spooky crap, I mean, the kind of case you're into, Detective. Great, let's get started. Let's go ahead and talk to him some more. How can I help you, Detective? Tell me about Alice, where were you last night? Goodbye, let's go ahead and tell me about Alice. I'll level with you, Detective. I don't have many dealings with her. She is a limited conversation pool. She's seven. Exactly. A tedious age, so I will leave that to Nanny. As she is around here somewhere. Where were you last night? How come you didn't notice she was missing? I was out. How wonderful, wonderfully shady. Uh, have you got an alibi? Where I was is none of your business, detective. My taxes pay your salary. They also pay for the cell and questioning room I'm going to have Doodly take you to. Fine, call this number, they'll vouch for me. Busty Bell's Booty Boutique. Classy stuff. I like that. Busty Bell's Booty Boutique. That is a tongue twister right there. Go straight for the attic. No other rooms. Why is there paint thinner? The paint thinner fell on the shelf gave. Not much left now. Received paint thinner. Is he gonna snort it later or something? Hmm, not. May not be broken after all. Just a blown bulb. Those look heavy enough to knock something out cold. Says, let's check this out. Just a bunch of forgotten memories. Okay, let's see what the detective has to say. Now, as addicts go, this one's extra creepy. I think he's a little bitch baby, though. Detective's a little bitch baby. And marked a box marked Annie's Broken Dreams. Oh, I don't think these people were meant to have kids. 
Let's go into the daughter's room. Talk to Mrs. Joan. Alrighty. Uh, my baby, my baby is gone. Hello, can I? Oh, she did not want me to ask. Can you tell me about your alibi? She just disappeared, my baby. Is there... You have to find her. Okay, so this lady is not very helpful at all. Find her! This game is uh, pretty nice so far. Nice little jokes. She's spoiled and sticks her nose where it doesn't belong. Nanny McFiend. Like with a name like that, like Manny McFiend. Like she, she, she did it obviously. Nanny's a sorcerer who eats babies. But that's what having super rich parents will do to you, I guess. Okay, so the child is spoiled because she has super rich parents. Why not? Okay, what's a nanny doing in the master bedroom? Nothing suspicious, that's for sure. No, sir. Okay, so rather than saying what you're actually doing, you're going to say nothing suspicious. That doesn't seem not suspicious. How long have you been working for the Jones? Jones's is detective. Even though it ends with an S, you still pluralize it. Pur pluralize it. Whatever, you know what I'm trying to say. Is now really the best time? It's always a good time for grammar, sir. Anyway, answer the question. Long enough to harbor no ill will whatsoever. Okay, so that's awfully suspicious. There's a statue. The statue's ugly enough to be worth a lot of cash. Roy Jones, Esquire. It takes a certain type of person to have an oil painting of themselves. It really does, like, that. Nice collection of books that does suggest there's nothing been looked at in some time. Some shame. I'm sure there's only two seats in, in this house. <laughs> Don't be daft, Dudley. There's... There are more, they're just off camera. His magazine collection, geez, this guy is obsessed with jugs. <laughs> oh my god. Alrighty. Uh, yeah, it would seem so that this guy is obsessed with them. Lantern. An old oil lantern seems to have some oil left in it too. Ah. What the heck? Well, that doesn't look ominous at all. I'm pretty sure it looks ominous. Dark side doorway. The pattern on the wall looks washed out in places. I wonder what would happen if I redrew it. But I hear. Not so fast, detective. Where's Dudley? Dudley! That idiot, I knocked him out. I couldn't have you snooping around anymore, so I'm going to trap you here. I told you, McFeen, like, you just don't get a name like McFeen and be a good guy in life. At least take the girl. Oh, I intend to. I'm her legal guardian, after all. It's my job to look after her, especially if anything should have happened to her parents. So, for example, they're getting trapped into the dark side's version of their bedroom. Okay, uh, what kind of cop would give up on a missing kid? Sadly, favorite. So, the kid got into the nanny's stuff and accidentally used it to trap herself into a creepy attic, the dark side. But that's a super surprising cyn cynic mem summary. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Alright, so they just sum things up. Shame the nanny was cer certifiably. <laughs> she was a looker. Man, this doodly guy needs to get a wife. Dilly, she was a 
doubling in the dark arts with a plan to trap innocent people in a parallel world, kidnap their kid and steal their cash. I said it was a shame. Jeez. I wonder where the nanny got the occult books from. Anyway, that stuff is hard to find these days. A case for another day, I guess. First of all, I have to figure out what kind of paperwork covers <laughs> covers this mess. I think I finished the first one. That was pretty good. I have to say, I thoroughly enjoyed the first one there, kind of going through Malice and Wonderland. Alrighty, I'm gonna play one more. Just get a good feel of it. After this one, we'll uh, dive into <coughs> the actual um, feeling and you know, kind of going over the game a little bit more here. But I will say, so far, really good. Liking the little stories that they have and the little puns that they work into them, like Tome Alone. Perfect working on Home Alone. Like, you know it's gonna be something about tones. But you're ready for it. Okay. What's the case, Dudley? Fill me in. It's like his Watson or something. Case? No. I have some overdue books to drop back. So that purple swirling vortex thing above the building has nothing to do with why you're here. Uh, come on now, detective. You're hardly gonna arrest uh, the weather. Uh, the thing you'll... The things you'll try to do to justify this department. <sighs> let's get this over with. Alright, so let's see. A uh, plaque. This is a library. What a helpful plaque. <laughs> These statues make me uncomfortable. They're not very welcoming. They should be at least be reading a book or wearing glasses or something. I kind of agree. If you're going to have lions out front, that would be a classy <laughs> library to put some glasses on a lion and have it read a book. Uh, okay, so before this uh, was the library, it was where the mayor kept their lion collection. Oh, right. That clears things up so... How many cases do you need to solve, do you think, to get a car that doesn't leak in the rain? It keeps us fresh, sharp, even. Alrighty, so let's go in here. Is it always raining when this guy's going to do stuff? Fines? For being late? How are books late? It's not like they've been places. They have places to be. You're not charming your way out of this one, Patrick. Rules are rules. Uh, can't, can't we come to some kind of agreement? Do you have any parking tickets you want to see go bye-bye? Dudley, you trying to bribe your way out of a fine? No. You should go through their pockets. You know, for evidence. I got a button. An old photocopier. I can't imagine this gets used much. Uh, it does when you renew your card each year. Doris takes a photocopy of your butt for the records. Oh, hello. My name's Rakes. Roxa? Roxa? Rakesa? Rakesa Roxa? I'm here to study the strange going ons. I guess that's why you're here too, detective. Uh huh. Sure, that's me, always investigating stuff on purpose. What's to share with what you found? Well, uh, it's not much, but there seems to be a strange uh, condensation of energy in the next room. I'm searching the internet for a way to be able to see whatever is actually is. Let's go check this out first. Alright, let's see. The. What about this one? The words are short, and I think I can read the whole book from one cover to the other cover. 
Oh, is that suitable for my age range? I read a book. I read a book about books for many age range, and for my age range, and they're all books about boys and wizards and talking dogs. I think this guy's talking to a ghost. Okay, I'll try it. I I hope I like it, uh, because I've read all the books about boys and wizards and talking dogs in here. Floating book. Well, that's not right. Nice trick. What magic? book did you learn that from, kid? It's not a magic book. It's not a magic. It's nothing. Did you before? Situation. What if we cut some of it? Well, if I destroyed some of the historical material, let's hope that there's a point to this. Well, it fits. Let's look at what it. Uh, what I didn't accidentally chop out of Twin Lakes recent history. Spider Mouth. Did it again. Do it again. Sounds like they were on some kind of winning streak instead of having burnt down yet another stadium. Major staff cuts at the city library. Budgetary cutbacks have seen the local library reduced to a skeleton staff. I know Dolores is old, but that seems a bit unfair. Computer stock goes up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, A, B. Throw in a Konami code. I shouldn't have read that out loud. I think I may have just summoned something. Oh, I remember this case. Crackpot detective claims teenagers' tags were uh, ritually meant to show the dead that show the dead that walk among us. What the? Uh, hello. Who are you and how did you get here? Alistair Crowley. I'm that which can never be unseen, the ooze from your nightmares, the knower of all. <coughs> what was all that again? Ye seeker through mad power within, we cool bro. We're cool. What's all that again? WB Yeast, pray sir, another, uh, and another spirit, yes, then with your questions you have answered my own, hmm? Forgive me, but I wish to know if you've seen on, if you've seen on your travels, what scan, scan the crowley. Forcefully mysterious man in a silly hat. The very same. I knew he looked here somewhere. He mentioned a hidden room. Yes, but on uh, on the matter, I shall say no more. Not until the beast is gone. But I just want it. Not a word more, sir. Not a word. Again, I say to you and I, sir, shall not converse while Crowley licks among the slip tongue. You are an Arthur, too? I don't recognize you. Ah, but not like your tooth with tufts. With the literary fiction, I wrote useful stuff like house wiring and 
how how to do your own plumbing. Uh, think you can fix the elevator with the right gear? I can. I'll read a new button. I need a new button, mind. What's all this for? You can use it as a button to fix the elevator. I can, but do anything that needs to be conductive. Make circuits. What about this? Boom! Conductive button! Then we're gonna give it to this lady. Alright, let's see here. Now that I got this button up, thanks for fixing the elevator, Gail. Happy to help. Uh, you find it were fun doing cement useful game. Alright, so let's see here. I think you should read this one. I read this one and thought it was good. What's it about? It's the story about the kid who can see dead people. Oh, that's not for me. I'm scared of ghosts. But you're a ghost. I fear I find myself in the company of a rather dreadful bunch. Rutters, the lot of them. The kid? No. His, he's charming. I mean the other occultist. Horror. Uh, writers and DIY fanatics, horrors, the, a lot of them. Uh, man, Edgar Allan Poe, what? He's like one of my favorite writers. Who barely make teenage girls whimper who? Lovecraft is another one. Only because they can't fathom the dread I conjure, Eddie. Don't you know looking at some stuff on the internet and how to get past the internet blocks up to something naughty, detective me? No, but I have this friend who needs to get past the library firewall. That's quite well protective, so surprisingly. I think Doris has worried about somebody would hack into steal her unpublished fan fiction. But I figured out the admin password so I can bypass the blocks. Uh, want me to give you that so you can use it? Please. Admin password. One, two, three, four. Go to computer. Put on computer. Now Crowley should be able to... Let's tell him. Okay, I've said it so you should be able to browse whatever you want. No restrictions. Excellent. You and... Uh, I'm to stick around. I see them. They're my friends. Well, this one is. Some of them are less friendly. But I thank them. But I like them because they came. Be I like them because before they came, the place was empty. Just me and Doris. And she's only interested in reading the most. The, the most of this dreadfulest things. <laughs> okay. I gotta get two ghosts to stop. Oh well, yes, just read the detective. I read your detective books. Wonderful, over the top. Detective McQueen Adams. Big fan of your work. Thanks. Not you. Oh. How convenient. Series of semi logical puzzles to get this. <laughs> Old library card. Uh, let's go back up to reading. Go in here. Alright. Now we're going to go ahead and put this back in the L section. Here goes nothing. Seemed to fit with the uh, curious clicking noises. Pull the lever, right, we pull this and, well, there's a hidden door, east and car we're talking about. Creepy doorways are a reoccurring mo motif I'm not too fond of. Alright. Let me guess, staying here to cover me again? You got it in one, detective. <laughs> Try not to avoid getting knocked out this time. All right, so spooky doorway we come. 
What the what is all this? Magica, Alistair Crowley's Guide to the Popular Wizard Game. That's not it. I told you I was going to do something, and it's like, oh, well, rather than thinking of something else or like trying to accommodate the one thing I'm asking. Cosmic Guide to Ghouls and Ghosts. Rituals for Modern Witch Rules. Uh, those are all uh, contraband occult books. This is quite the nasty treasure trove. Why didn't I know about this stuff? Ritual book, a copy of Ripley's Cast It or Not. <laughs> uh, it seems to be. Uh, be open on the summoning spirits page. Maybe if I close it, this whole mess will sort itself out. Ouch. Seems to be charged by faulty wiring. I wonder <coughs> where it goes. Suppose wiring. So this wiring seemed to be. Uh, baseball cap. Things finding here. So what are you doing here? Like the math to a flame, I'm drawn to the other rich energies emitting from this book. Uh, I like spooky books and electricity, and I even lit candles uh, to up the spooky factor. Crawl space, a small hole. I I don't fit, but maybe I can drop something down to see where it goes. Strange thing to find here. Ooh, I threw a skull down there. Now to find where that landed, hopefully without having caused any damage. I'm pretty sure I saw a vent in this one over here. What's all this noise? I can't hear myself read. So, kid, what's up with all you know about the other side and the vent? I didn't mean to do it, do what? I was lonely, so I went exploring and found all these neat new books. Put one of them in the read of scary things, and I ran off, then the ghosts arrived, but I, I like them, because now I have friends. See, we meant no harm. Troublemaker, arrest him, breaking and entering into your room of illegal books. Uh... Let's say both set charge cancel each other out. Only if you get rid of the ghost and find him um, somewhere else to, to go once in a while. He can join me in the, the blood wolves. Blood wolves. The mayor stopped paying the doo-doo taxes, so we had to change from scouts. Uh, you okay with that, kid? Sure. That's great. 
Back to the task at hand. We need to stop the energy flowing to the building and to the book. You'll need to get uh, the lighting conductive on the roof. Here I have the key. Dudley, you're going. We're going to the roof. But it's raining outside. I don't remember seeing a roof anywhere. I'm guessing it would be up here. Here we go. I suppose we're ready to duck out one window. Blah, blah, blah. You did, buddy. More of the rain from the secret room, and that leads to the roof. Let's go up the ladder. Need to do is go all the way up there. Scared of heights? No. Yes. Junction box. I detect if, uh, So what do we do? Get down as soon as possible. Looks like the circuit is connecting the book downstairs um, to this aerial. I guess it should break this circuit. Then the wire. And the aerial, the lighting rod, and the power that somewhere goes. So if I just... Ouch, my hand. Look, detective, the storm is dying out. Imagine that. Okay, we should be able to close the book now. So you go downstairs, close this book up. Let's see here. Go back to this horror room, get in here, close the book. Alright, book's closed, ghosts are disappearing, everything looks to be going back to normal. Boom. <clears throat> Trunks filled, detective, though I, I don't see why we had to take all, the, all those books. Dudley, the contraband, heavy contraband. We're on an agreement then, Doris. You don't find me ha <laughs> for having the books. I don't sue the kid for <laughs> entering the vault. I go back to business. Sh uh, chasse hunting. You should also get that wiring fixed. Ah, fine. Come on, Dolly. Let's come back to the office. Uh, see you at the camp, Mr. Dolly. Uh... See you there, Devin. <clears throat> All right, Keist is closed on that one. Now that we played a little bit of Dark Side Detective, the first couple of cases that it gives you, I was pleasantly surprised to find that it was a point-and-click game and something that I can just jump right into and you know starting getting to feel for it. You know, as this gritty detective that only looks into paranormal cases that isn't liked by the rest of the force. And it was pretty nice. Uh, you know, I like the story. It was pretty, you know, well put together as far as that goes. Um, and I, I just, I thought this was going to be something a little different where you walked around or did something with it. So it wasn't exactly what I expected from the picture and stuff. But... Finding out that it was point and click was kind of an uh, interesting take on it, and I did like um, the paranormal side, how everything worked out. I just feel that it was a little more um, for a younger audience, you know, something more, you know, for the late teens, early 20 kind of uh, uh, thing. Still enjoyed it. I actually played more after I got done and I've almost beaten the whole game and I plan on beating it. It I did get a lot of enjoyment out of it and it's been a long time since I played a point and click game like that. So with that said, let's go ahead and give it a measurement of value, which today's measurement is going to be rubber chickens. I'd give this game a 4 out of 5 rubber chickens, with one upside down from the twister from Wizard of Oz. But, it, you know, it, it could use a little bit more polish in some places, and um, some of the jokes didn't really land as well as I would hope, you know, they, the writer probably wanted them to. Um, maybe it was just, you know, something over my head, but either way, 
very enjoyable. Would recommend this to anybody that's into a point and click paranormal or just a short little unique story um, that you know you can just casually play through. It's not something you gotta like and take the whole thing. Although I did uh, with the second sitting there. Well, that's our episode today, guys. If you guys or anybody else wants, you know, to suggest a game for me to actually look at, I can put a list in the description if you'd like, or, you know, if you are interested in anything like that, let me know down in the comments below. Uh, let me know how I did for the first episode. I'm very interested to see what everybody thinks about this. Uh, other than that, you know, hit the like button if you did like it. Hit subscribe to find out what else we're going to be reviewing here on the channel or playing through. And you guys just have a crispy night. Tasty out!